New England is pushing to sign free agent wide receiver Calvin Ridley, but sources believe that he currently prefers to return to Jacksonville, and he has been discussing a deal with the Jaguars. This is the first indication we've received that a player doesn't want to go to the Patriots because it's the Patriots, and they lack a quarterback right now, and they lack a roster that will soon be ready to win. And Calvin Ridley would rather go back to the team that has those pieces, has the quarterback, has other receivers on the field. Yep. And doesn't make him the lone guy that a team has to lock in on. Probably feel safe. Focus on. Probably feel safe there. Probably likes, you know, it's, it's comfort. It's comfortable for him. Probably likes Doug Peterson and the way he calls games. I think this is good that the way it's written by Schefter, that they're pushing to sign him. It's not, Hey, they're interested in him. This is a real solid. This is the Patriots. Huh? It's a real solid that Schefter's yeah, doing the Patriots like they're, here. They're actually talking numbers and trying to get him. And maybe he's going back to Jacksonville to check on them one more time. Red Sox esque. No, this is a little different. Interest Kings. Showing That's interest. Different. Interest I hate. I hate to try to get a deal one. done. Ultimately, even... they lose out right at the end. Yeah. Throttle Phil? down. Phil? Throttles down. Don't know if we actually get to where we need to go, though. That's that's where they're at. I, I just would say this is an example, potentially, of that tax that you need to pay not being paid. If they were blowing him away with money, if they were if they were knocking him over with the dollar figures, he'd be willing to sign. Who had to report that Elliot Wolf is sticking to his guns and it's not, and they're negotiating very, um, sticking to his guns, like where he's not going to overpay? There was a report out there today. Somebody Listen, I think dead. that's how he's wired. That's how the Packers how move. That's how his dad operated. That's how all of these people who've worked for his dad, whether it's Ted Thompson or John Schneider or John Dorsey or any of these Packers-related guys, they're not, generally speaking, big swing in free agent Jesus types. Jesus, Christmas. So he's uh, he is a clone of his dad, huh? I don't this? know if he's a clone. Unable but to I, adapt. Listen, unable that's how he to, came up. To, to sort of look at the situation, know that they have – Massive needs. How about this? Just did his dad? Did his dad ever have a team that was four and thirteen and looked the way this one looked in in the year before he went into the off season? Eh. What do you got there, Zoe? What now? Uh, breaking. Uh, Derrick Henry going to the Ravens. Two years, twenty million, nine million guaranteed. Good for him. Well, that's a nice fit there. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna. Get, uh, good for him. I, I'm not thinking about the money. I'm thinking about the ability to win the fit. games. Sure, and be on a team that. That team's a physical bitch. He's going <laughs> I mean, to compete. Tough right? to deal with. They're going to be tougher to deal with on offense with him. And I know he's not in his prime, but behind those tackles, those tight ends, and that quarterback, you got a lot to worry about. I don't want to tackle him. If you're Calvin Ridley, quarterback questions in New England, taxes. Bingo. Like, weather. Jacksonville kind of has you. <laughs> In a number of different categories. If you're a pass game player, Jacksonville's got you beat. Didn't they build a new facility, too? Like, didn't Urban design it and they built a new one? Good question. I think they had a brand new locker room like a couple years ago. It was getting constructed when he got fired, I thought. But he was big on, like, I'm not doing this. I came from Ohio State in Florida. We need need a better facility. Again, a guy coming from college where the facilities are better than what they had there. I think Shad Khan agreed to it and they were building him a big, big facility. My question is, where do you go if you don't get him? Do you just hope you get that number one receiver in the draft? You, you've got that 34 overall pick earmarked for a wideout? Make a trade for Mike Williams, Chargers. You trade for one of those Chargers guys? Do you do you move on to signing Hollywood Brown and say, well, at least he's fast, and safeties will have to shade over the top for him? Yeah. That'll lighten the box for Ramondre Stevenson. We want to run the ball anyway. Glorified decoy. I just, that wouldn't excite me. Ridley would would and should excite you if they're able to pull it off. It ain't over yet. Let's see. Up the offer. I don't blame this player for wanting to play in Jacksonville right now than over to England. At all. If I were him, I'd want the same. I agree. I agree. That's why I said the Mac, Mac Wilson thing with the Arizona. Arizona or Foxborough. And if you're not close and Arizona's offering more, I'm going to go to Scottsdale. For me to stay in Foxborough, you got to pay me more. You know? That's the way it is. One interesting piece to this, Ridley's agent is David Mulugeta, and uh, he just Ah, uh, yes, of course. He, well, he represents some big-name guys, including, I believe, Deshaun Watson. 
Um, Moogs, as I call him. <laughs> My buddy Moogs. Davey Moogs. He said this was about 12 hours ago, so this is really about yesterday. Like a music guy. But he says, I'll take all the sticks and stones because at the end of the day, my guys won't be taking any L's. Today has shown teams will do what's best for them at all times. My guys understand that and move with that same energy. Hashtag sh- secure the bag. Hashtag get paid. I'd hire him as my agent. He is. He's saying the right I'd things. hire him and I would hire Kirk Cousins' agent. He's almost in terms of like the wiring. He's like Drew Rosenhaus-esque. You know, Scott Boris of yes, football. Yes. I like that. He's going to get the guy the most money. And so things like the tax rate in Massachusetts versus Florida, and if the deals are similar, let's pay attention to this, are going to matter to him. Moogs gets the bag. Oh, that that dollar figure, too. Hey, I got a number of emails yesterday. I don't know. Listen, I don't what? know about this stuff. People that are smarter than me. If you spend 183 days outside of the state of Massachusetts, you can still pay taxes in your home state at their rate. Did you know this? Repeat that again. If you spend 183 days outside of the Commonwealth in another state, not here, and you have residency in your home state, you can pay that state's rate? Yes, half the year, right? Or just over half the year. Florida. Yeah, I, mean, I did know that. Yeah. So there are loopholes to get out of paying that thing. Uh, NFL is interesting because I believe you get taxed based on where you play where your games. Where you play your games, right? But, so, it, but yep. it's not up to – that's not a league rule. Those are state rules for each state individual rules, state. state. Yes. That has nothing to do with the league. The league doesn't have tax laws. <laughs> Yeah, no, I had to fill out different tax returns in every state, like, like California and that. Yeah, I remember that. I had I had a couple of, two, I think, like two or three different accountants who were like, ah, no, there's a way around that. You don't have to do that if you're them. I'm like, wait, is this true? Is there a way but right to Calvin get around Ridley, this thing? you played eight or nine games in Massachusetts, you could get out of that because you live half the year somewhere else? I don't know, Phil. Okay. I'm not the guy. I'm not the guy to ask. I'm there not, are accountants listening I, right I, now that I'm could not, help us with this. I'm not an accountant, Okay. Six one seven seven seven. I know how to use TurboTax, but I don't know how to be an accountant. Okay, I know how to plug in the W two, but I don't know about all these laws and how to get around them, how to skirt them. <laughs> Apparently, that's a thing. You spend one hundred and eighty three days, and one person pointed out partial days don't count. So, if you were in the state, say you took a flight at eight a.m. to go home to Florida, that still counts as a day in Massachusetts. You don't get to count it as a day in Florida. Was locking that. Wow. One f- person who knew about it wrote that that's why Mac Jones would go to Texas. I guess did he go to Texas a lot? Was that a thing? I don't even know. I have no idea. But I want to know more, Phil. I want to know more.